What's up? This is Rosebud. Man, do I have something for you. I'm at the National Game Archives building. Right here, right in front of us, is the vault. This is the vault where all of the information concerning the game, not only the, you know, not only our game, but all of the street life that's, you know, documented, have you know different things going on about it, is located here. I, I came here about three months ago because I was going to do a documentary on this, on this lady, this hoe, named Butterfly. She's a bad bitch. But when I got here, I remembered that about 15 years ago, we put some footage that we shot on Film on Slim in here. And fortunately for me, I was one of the producers. <laughs> so they declared, they allowed us to actually take some of this footage. They declassified about, I think it was about seven, re seven VHS tapes. And I got a lot of good information off of it. And I made the, 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 uh, the documentary. It's called The Godfather. The Real Fillmore Slim. And I'm going to let you get a peek at some of it right now. Do you think that um, pimps have to trick or manipulate women into becoming hoes? Or do you think the particular girl already has no, it in mind? No, she already have it in mind. And the pimp as just happened to be yeah. the one to, yeah. right, right there at the right time. Yes. Okay. Do you think the pimping is dead? No. I don't think so. Well, do you think the pimping, as far as where you seen it from the beginning versus now, is that dead? Yes. Just like this hoe, letting you know what, you know, women hoes really thankful they get involved in this game. Ain't no pimp got to trick no hoe. See, this, this, this documentary is going to have true, unadulterated game in it. It ain't going to have no capes. It ain't going to have no cups. It ain't going to have no canes. It's just going to have straight game. Now, I got that from the original white folks. But I also have another white folks that I want you to check out what he got to say right now. Looking back, is, is it anything you'd have done different? If you had an opportunity to start over before you answer, yeah, yeah, I would have been, I would, I would, I would have been uh, born a decade or two earlier. You understand when when hoes was real hoes and it was really down with real pimping. Now hoes, you understand, uh, really, you understand a lot of hoes. You understand ain't fucking with pimping, man. They, they really fucking, fucking with, with sipping, sipping. Yeah, yeah. For, you know what I'm talking about. Hey, Motherfuckers hey. really making deals 60 40. 60 40. Yeah, like mighty motherfucking hoes. No real macaroni wants to make a deal to have that hoe. Now, let me tell you something else about this international pimping. Let, let, let's check Gangsta Brown out. Let's go on. Let's go further. Gangsta Brown. To your knowledge, was Phil most slim international? What kind of question is that? Hell yeah. That's the godfather, man. Yes, he was international. He was the man. Yeah, the best that ever did it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hell yeah. Did his teachings actually shape your philosophy? Yeah. Yeah, I listened from the beginning all the way to the end. Anytime I had a problem, I called Filmo. Anytime it was a situation, I called Filmo. When I was in my choosing or, or trying to knock a brother, I wanted to make sure to see was I doing it right and told him, come on, watch me, follow me. I'm finna do this here and tell me what you think at the end. And it was saying, well, yeah. Filmo was always there. For oh, hell yeah. Yeah, better be because got, he got me in this shit. See, Gangsta Brown is just one among many. Fillmore Slim did a lot for a lot of young pimps. But let me tell you something. I went to Fillmore's house and I saw no less than 150 trophies. Some of them tall as me. The men get accolades from all over the world, from all sorts of people. Fillmore, how you doing? I'm fine. <laughs> you looking good too. Phil, you know, right away, I see this four foot trophy here. And I know it's some sort of achievement award. I, I, can you tell me what it is? Oh, yeah, yeah. I received this award at Hollywood, you know. It's everything, you know. So I was, uh, Hollywood, the Players Ball, they gave me this award. And, uh, you know, last year they gave me an award. It was about, about this song, about three. You know? So this time, they had to really recognize a giant. You know? A giant. I told them when the company, Leslie, I was going to have the giant award 
So this is what they gave at Lee Max Players Ball. <laughs> and believe me or not, ladies and gentlemen, this is the giant. So, so this, the, huh? this, this, this trophy is rep not only honoring you as the pimp you were, but as really the giant. Represent me standing tall in the south. Okay. He almost <laughs> say he stands tall through it all. Walk through the fire and don't sweat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we, we got another plaque on, in the award here. Uh -huh. um, Legendary Lifetime Achievement Award presented to Fillmore Slim. Can you tell me a little bit about this one? Yeah, well, this award, this award they gave me in Dallas, Texas, the first players ball that they had down there. So uh, they, they got to me and said they wanted me to come. They had the Bishop Don Juan, and we was all down there. Uh, we had Max Jr., the captain played the back. Then we had Ice T, you know. So we all was down there in Dallas. And uh, so we all had to get on stage. You know, and they had to honor, they had, we had to honorate me, you understand? Because Max Jr. got on stage and said, you know, I played a pimp in the movie The Mac, you understand me? You know, I had a script. But this man, yeah, Phil Moslem, that had no script. His script was in his head, so he got to be the real pimp. Yeah. The real man. Yeah, with no script. Ice T said the thing, same thing. He said, you know, I played a pimp in the SUV, you know, and I come out of Compton, you know, I did a little pimping. He said, but this man here yeah, is, uh, he ain't got no script. You know, his script come from his mind. He's a real pimp. So we got to honor him. Rudy Ray Moe got up and said, well, you know, I played Dola, Mike. You know what I'm saying? In the movie. But uh, you know what I'm saying? I know this man's a real pimp because when I was in Dolphin of Hollywood with a DJ, him and his hoes used to watch me on Late Night on Burning, etc. So they had to give me my props because they know the real pimp was there. Okay, now we come into the Coupe de Gras. I've been giving you a little 30 seconds here, a minute and two seconds there. I'm finna give you about four minutes straight of The Godfather, the real Fillmore Slim. I used to I used to ride through the whole show, and this whole used to want to be with me. I pop my truck, and she throw a little shit in there. I drive off, and I did that for about three weeks. Then I went back there and counted. I said, God damn, I got down there. Six thousand dollars back so, there. Now wait, I can go back there. Wait, 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 wait. You said the bitch would throw the money in the truck, in the and truck. you wouldn't even motherfucker go look at it. No, no, no. I wouldn't even count it. I Two, just, three weeks later, you got all these bags from I, this one bitch. No, she just throw it in the truck. I, this, this was my thing, bitch. I ain't gonna touch that little shit. Throw it in the truck. You know, kind of like had to push button. Oh, pop. Damn, so the motherfucker <laughs> pop bitch throw it in the truck. And, you know, I ain't had a safe in the truck of my Cadillac. <laughs> I threw the shit in the corner. <laughs> you know, I was having money. I didn't have to go back there and count that little shit. Yeah. Cause uh, I know it wasn't about nothing. Cause I know what kind of money this little hoe. I can tell. I can look at. See, you look at the, the hoe out there and tell what she doing. Yeah, you How can busy tell. she is. Yeah, you, if you see her, I just ride see her by. Too many times I just ride by and say, I ride by and say, little mama, you sure is trying to struggle. Trying to get your together. But what you got now? Oh, I just done tell about three or four days. I just throw that little shit in the trunk. But one day you might be a real hoe. You might can be with me. Why do you think the the female and the male entertainer, rappers, whatever, have this fascination with pimps and hoes? Cause it's the fast life. It's the fast life. And, and everybody, and everybody wants to be in the fast life. But I'm saying... The squares would like to be in the fast life. The fast life is the fast life because they're living fast, moving fast, having things, and having it your way. But now, these motherfuckers got millions and millions of dollars. So, I mean, it seems to me they have enough money to be whatever kind of life but, they want to be. Why do they want to pretend? But, the, but they're intrigued about they're the intrigued, game. They're intrigued, huh? About the game. That's how strong this fucking game That's is. That's how strong the game is. That's how strong it is, The game Mo. is stronger than a million dollars. Phil Mo, now, 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 now just think of what you just said. The game is stronger than a million dollars. Or right. two million or a hundred million. That's right. And hey, you is the godfather of this shit. That's right. That, that got to make you feel good, don't it, man? I, I feel great. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I'm just saying, just thinking about it, that, you got to feel pretty goddamn proud of your yeah, goddamn pants, man. I do. With all the pitfalls, with all the different things you've gone through, would you do it again? If you turn the time back and turn the clock back, I sure would. So, you didn't been in the penitentiary, you didn't had various problems. None of that would stop you from in, 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 entering this life again if you had the opportunity. If I had the opportunity to turn the time back, be a, little, a young man all over again, I'd try it again. <laughs> Maybe this time i have more money. <laughs> and, and, right. and, and make a bigger movie this time. From this little bit, I am sure you can see that this isn't your ordinary 
or your regular pimp documentary. I mean, Rosebud, I'm not your regular pimp. I'm not a regular pimp. And Fillmore, by far, is not a regular pimp. Fillmore Slim is the godfather of this game. And what you're going to get in this documentary is pure, unadulterated game. We'll be taking pre-orders June 15th and July 17th. It'll be in all your stores. Look for it and get it.